A mom ate five-day-old sushi for dinner. This is what happened to her brain. A mom battled incontinence, hallucinations, and insomnia for months after her decision to eat five-day-old sushi from a service station. Doctors treating the 34-year-old woman, identified only as JC, were baffled as to the cause of her problems, until they eventually discovered the problem, living in her stomach. Until the discovery, she had undergone months of various treatments during which time she was rushed to the hospital twice suffering seizures. The woman's story was told by YouTuber Chubby Emu, who works as a clinical adjunct professor and doctor in Chicago for the University of Illinois. Chubby Emu uses his YouTube channel to discuss rare medical cases that he or his colleagues have cracked, with his wild and extraordinary videos often going viral. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. The video about JC has had hundreds of thousands of views since it was uploaded last week. In it, Chubby Emu speaks about the night the woman arrived home late from work and realized she hadn't eaten all day. Starving and with no restaurants open to order from, JC opened the fridge and spotted some sushi she bought five days ago from a service station. The fish did taste a little sour, but she just put soy sauce on it to mask it out. The five-day-old sushi was so uneventful she didn't even remember eating it, Chubby Emu said. But four months after she ate the sushi, her body started to shut down. It began with insomnia, the sleepless nights leaving her anxious and confused and feeling like her heart was beating out of her neck. Around the same time, JC started having stomach cramps, feeling her stomach jiggle and shake when she went to the toilet. JC told her husband it felt like a fish was flapping around in her belly. She tried essential oils, melatonin, and special tea to help her sleep, but nothing worked. JC then started hallucinating seeing bugs crawling on the walls and eventually seeing them crawling under her skin. One night, JC lost complete sensation in her hands and feet, and when she got up from bed, she felt urine dripping down her leg. She was taken to an urgent care clinic exhausted. Doctors couldn't find anything obviously wrong with her. She was prescribed cognitive behavior therapy to help with what doctors thought was stress and to help her sleep. The therapy did nothing, and a short time later, JC's husband again saw her mumbling to herself in the corner, shaking and her pants were wet, Chubby Emu said. She passed out and started having a seizure. Her husband quickly called an ambulance and she was taken to the hospital. Blood work revealed her red blood cells were abnormally large and immature. Her white blood cells were malformed and she was anemic. Another exam found she had sensory ataxia a disorder that causes a person to lose their sensory awareness and was suffering from neurodegeneration. When cells aren't maturing properly, it could be because of a nutritional deficiency, Chubby Emu said. Her husband confirmed that she had barely been eating one meal a day. Further blood tests found JC was extremely low in vitamin B12, which had left her with severe nerve damage, causing her to lose sleep, have delusions, psychosis, and hallucinations. They gave JC some vitamin B12 injections and miraculously, she started to recover, finally getting her first good night's sleep in months. Doctors recommended she take B12 vitamins daily and discharged her from the hospital. Two months later though, JC's symptoms started to come back. After another psychotic episode and seizure, JC was rushed to emergency. Doctors found her B12 levels were less than 10% of where they should be, despite her massive intake of vitamins. JC had been taking B12 supplements, but it was doing nothing. Finally, doctors began wondering why her body wasn't absorbing the B12, questioning if something was living in her gastrointestinal tract. They examined JC's stool and found thousands of eggs, measuring 40 to 60 micrometers long. They also found broken off segments of a tapeworm. Doctors asked JC if she'd recently eaten grains as they can sometimes be contaminated with rodents or insects, but she barely ate carbs. Then, she remembered the days-old sushi she ate nine months ago. Finally, all her symptoms could be attributed to a potentially giant tapeworm that had been living in her GI tract for months. Doctors identified the tapeworm as Diphlobothrium latum, one of the largest to infect humans. The species can grow up to nine meters long. 
The worm loves vitamin B12 and is known to compete with humans for the nutrient, which is exactly what it had been doing to JC. The woman had been living with a tapeworm for months. The tapeworm also explained why JC briefly recovered when doctors gave her a B12 shot, because the nutrient went straight into her bloodstream and wasn't stolen from her gut by the tapeworm. As the B12 stores in her liver started to become depleted, and they were probably already low because of how she ate before the five-day-old sushi, her nerves started wasting away, Chubby Emu said. Those wrong chemicals built up and slowly ripped apart her nerves. JC was given a single dose of Prazaquantel, an anti-worm medication, and JC made a full recovery. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting too. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.